In this tutorial, we will guide you through the capabilities of a form widget. Forms will help you collect the base of users for your future product launch, create a mailing list, or run a customer survey. When working with forms, don't forget to notify the users about the extent of their data you're collecting. In the EU, the regulation is known as GDPR, yet several other data privacy regulations exist across the world as well. Today you will learn how to set up a form, customize its design, and work with different field types. You'll also learn how to automatically add emails to the MailChimp subscription list and how to make your form accept files. So, without further ado, let's start. To add a widget, click on the plus button or press W. Then select a form from a pop-up. Click on a letter to the left of a field name to select its type. In the same menu, you can also make the field optional. After the form is submitted, a text message could be shown to the users. It's also possible to redirect them to another page of the project or to an external website. Use the Styles toggle in the widget controls to set a form style. To switch between vertical and horizontal layout, choose a colored, outlined, or underlined scheme, and change fields and button attributes. Spacing, color, radius, border, and text style. A button is customizable both in its default and on hover modes. There's also a reCAPTCHA option that can be enabled in the menu. If a Google-powered device detects a risk of fraudulent behavior, it will prompt the user to enter the CAPTCHA. Now let's dive deeper into the field types. There are several field type options in ReadyMag forms. They differ in the way that they restrict user input. The simplest one is a text field. It accepts any text. Click on the plus sign to add more empty lines, or the minus sign to reduce their number. The Name field accepts any text as well. It's a special field that maps to the MailChimp mailing service Name field. Use it for setting up a mailing list. The Email field takes email addresses. This field is also required to send data to MailChimp, yet please note that the email field doesn't have a validity check. Another important one is the number field. It takes only digits and decimal points, dots and commas. The phone number field is, well, for phone numbers. Spaces and hyphens may be typed in as separators. For instance, this and this are valid inputs. With the drop-down field, you can create a drop-down list of multiple choices. To set up a list, click drop-down in the fields control to pull out the enclosed panel. There you can add, delete, and rearrange each field. The checkbox field creates a selection box to check or ignore. Finally, the file field allows form respondents to attach files. Up to 10 files can be uploaded simultaneously. The file field can be added with the professional plan only. Click the Send Data toggle in the Form menu to choose one of the options for storing submitted data. 
The email option is the default option. It sends all submitted data to the email that is attached to your ReadyMag account. Use the Google Sheets option to save each submitted form as a new row in a Google Sheets document. Type in a name for the new spreadsheet. It will be automatically created in your Google Drive account. Use the MailChimp option to add a subscriber to one of your MailChimp lists. Finally, advanced users might want to use the URL option. It sends all submitted forms to a custom URL webhook. Find more tutorials and tips at readymag.com learn.